Hi guys, Eli here from Ancestral Recall, and uh, as promised, I'm going to be doing a box opening of Fate Reforged with a little bit extra. And we'll start off with one piece of that little bit extra. Check it out. Korean Fate Reforged. I will be completely honest in my biases. Having lived in Japan for six years, I would have preferred getting Japanese packs, but my LGS, Red Caps Corner, did not get any Japanese. We got Korean. So... Anyway, today I'm just going to be showing off Dare Sauce, which is black sorcery of some sort, Ward Scale Dragon, does four damage to a guy, and our rare is the White Siege. And hey, look at that! It's a basic land in one of these boosters, and the Manifest overlay, yeah. All right, so we will come back to that later. But right now, let's get to the English. So our first English pack of Fate Reforged. Going right to the good stuff. Mardu Shadow Spear, Dark Deal, Mardu Woe Reaper, and our rare is Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, which is a storage land. Uh, yeah, it's a storage land. Uh, not that hot. And our rare is Foily, yeah, Foily Frontier Macedon, and the Jungle Hollow. Boogie. Dun, dun. Yeah. Sorry. Had a long, long week of work. I gotta pull a lot of overtime, but fortunately they found the long-term sub, so that means that as of next week I'll be back to a regular schedule, which makes me very happy. Let me tell you that. So we got a Humble Defector, Reality Shift, Fearsome Awakening, and our rare is Soul Flare, which is Delve. And guys with abilities who are delved, uh, it gets it. That's pretty awesome. And Swift Water Cliffs. Me, nothing special. Yeah, I'll just put my rares up front so you guys can track a little more easily. In camera, you guys wanna see this, right? I mean, you guys like to see the destruction of plastic. So we got Grave Strength, Pilgrim of the Fires, Light Form, and Silmgar, the Drifting Death, flying hexproof, and he makes things a little bit smaller. And this guy beat the living tar out of me in the pre release when I was playing Obzon and the Trample Cove. Yeah, so opened six packs earlier and I got one mythic, the Obzon guy whose name I can't remember because it wasn't in English, the guy, the figure of Destiny guy. So I got him in Korean. Anyway. Abzon Kingard, Shifting Loyalties, Frostwalker, and a Sandstep Macedon, who bolsters five and, yeah, reach. That's pretty cool. And a Foil Vault Breaker. And hey, a Flood Strand. Ding, ding, ding. That's two Flood Strands I've opened today because I got a Korean one in one of my earlier Korean packs. Yeah, when I, 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 I couldn't leave the store without opening something, so I opened six packs of Korean. Southern Reclamation. Winds of Qualsiama, Ward Scale Dragon, and Whisperwood Elemental. Ooh, hotness, mythic. So you got a manifest at the beginning of your end step, and you can sack it to give uh, face up non token guys further manifest. That's saucy. Saucy, saucy. That's exciting. That's our first mythic out of the box. Hopefully, of many. Oopsie. So, jump in the head. Who we got? Rage Form, Merciless Executioner, Orc Sure Shot, it's the Sure Shot, and Mastery of the Unseen. When the perm you control is turned face up, you do half of the Congregate, and you can manifest. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, that's nice to have, nice to have. It's a pretty powerful card, I'll say that. Unlimited, I don't answer. But yeah, an EDH, yeah, that could be tons of fun in a lower, in a less high octane format of EDH, anyway. It's too big for uh, tiny leaders. Shock Maw Dragon, Channel Harm, Huge Stone Retainers, and Dragon Scale General. All bolster all the time. Pretty good stuff. And the Monk Token. Mm -hmm. All right. That's cool. Jumping ahead, we got Pilgrim of the Fires, Marty Shadow Spear, Carsey High Priest, and a Teamer War Shaman. 
when this guy enters the battlefield, manifest, and whenever one of my things I control is turned face up, if it's a creature, you may fight. I like fighting. And not a fetch land. Not the opening boosters. I mean, just the physical action. Lotus Eye Mystics. Oh, man, it has Lotus in it. That name just excites people. Ruthless Instincts, Fascination, and Flame Rush Rider. So when this attacks, put a token into play, attack, then attacking. That's a copy of another attacker. That can't be this guy. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. i to move my shoulders a little bit. Ugh. Friday, the end of the work week. Such a grind it's been. But my job's not grindy, it's very creative. Grave Strength, Pilgrim of the Fires, Light Form, and Scroll of the Masters. When you cast a non-creature card, put a lore counter on this, and it, you can pump guys based on lore counters. Ugh, this is not a very good card. I mean, it might be okay in limited, but not my cup of tea. But yeah, sure, it's flavorful for Jeskai. I suppose the Vorthoses might want to use it in a deck based on the theme of mastery. And there's nothing in the world wrong with that, so that's cool. All right, so we got Mind Scour Dragon, Neutralizing Blast, Cash Defenses, and Arch Fiend of Depravity. Flying at end of each opponent's end step, they have to sack down to two creatures. Ooh, a Foily, Thornwood Falls, and the Jungle Hollow. Pyrotechnics! I do, sorry for the falsetto, but I think it's awesome. Uh, yeah, Little Sign Mystics, Right of Undoing, and an Arc Bond, poopy. That is the rare foil rare I pulled out of my Mardu, uh, my Mardu deck that I went undefeated with. Didn't need that rare. So we got Rage Form, Merciless Executioner, the Orc Sure Shot, and Atarka, World Render, Flying Trample, and Double Striking Dragons. Double Striking Dragons is pretty awesome. I wonder if you can call one Jimmy, you can all call the other one Billy, and they'll go and fight some guy with a gun to go get Marion. Dragon Rage, ugh. Bloodfire Enforcers, meh. Teamer Sabretooth is a very strong limited card, and Wild Call. Manifest top card of your library and put some counters on it. And we got a foil renowned weaponsmith. Meh. That guy is not a very strong card and loaded. Unless, I mean, who knows? Maybe the next set is going to have a ton of artifacts. Uh, I personally think maybe that's setting up a heavy artifact theme next year. Or who knows? Who knows? Grave Strength, Mind Scour Dragon. Friendly Fire. I'm really not good at holding these boosters. And Colagon, the Storm's Fury. So the dash is quite powerful. The ability is sweet. There's nothing in the world that's wrong with this card. I feel like, yeah, you might even see it in a couple standard decks, maybe Mardu token decks. Although the Mardu Strike Leader, the guy who uh, makes 2-1 tokens, but they don't come up into play attacking. That's not quite as saucy. Um, anyway, Little Side Mystics, Ruthless Instincts, Fascination, and Outpost Siege. So this can either give you a Chandra-like free card. It's Elkin Bottle. It's Elkin Bottle. Yeah, I'm old school. I can call that. Or you can have, uh, when everything's die, ping something. That doesn't feel very dragony to me. That seems more Jund-like. We got Erishim War Beast, Obzon Beastmaster, Bloodfire Enforcers, Citadel Siege. Just open another Siege. Meh. Whatever. And Foil Pressure Point. Come on, I want Ugin. I want those white mythics. Because those are amazing. 
Yeah, I know. I told you guys when I was opening up boosters, I might be a little whiny about this. Yeah, when I'm just opening boosters and I'm not thinking about draft, I might get a little emo. Battle Brawler, Hero's Blade, Arish and Warbeast, and Torrent Elemental. Yeah, this guy. So when he's fine when he gets delved in that you can kick him out in that sense. Um, but yeah, attacking and tapping all creatures, defending player controls, that's a powerful ability. Hey, let's face it, this is actually a quite strong card in Limited. Don't worry about all that extra text. That is no joke. In Standard, I am highly suspect. Mind Scour Dragon, Neutralizing Blast, Cash Defenses, and Alicia, who smiles at death. And the Blossom Exams. I had Alicia at the pre-release, and yeah, she did the business. The best thing she brought back was the 2-2 Goblin that makes more Goblins. Fruit of the First Tree, Ugin's Construct, another Battle Brawler, and the Flame Wake Phoenix. Flying Haste, attacks each turn when able. Uh, okay, it's, I, mean, it's uh, I don't think it's as good as Chandra's Phoenix, but it's still well within that pedigree. And hey, I like creatures with power four or more, but I think Chandra's is just superior, But the, and it has the same mana cost, but whatever. Next booster, Ugin's Construct, Wild Slash, Sage's Reverie, and the rare is Rally the Ancestors. Meh. More Drek. I mean, yeah, there's probably a combo with it, but I just don't think that's something that I'm going to be playing in the new standard. We got Dragon Rage, Bloodfire Enforcers, Teamer Sabretooth, and Mob Rule, as opposed to Jaw Rule. Jaw Rule would have been up in here being cool. This guy is kind of meh. Teamer Sabretooth, Cloud Form, ooh, Wandering Champion, and our mythic is Shaman of the Great Hunt. Haste, 4-2, hoo, hoo and Ferocious. Yeah, that's not a big issue, uh, unless someone kills it in response. Yeah, so draw a card for each creature you control with power 4 or greater. That's saucy. But yeah, the uh, Slith ability is very, very powerful. Just can't. Ooh, and we got Foil Rare. Dragon Scale General. At the beginning, you run up Bolster. It's a nice foil, I guess, but I was hoping for something. I was hoping for something a little more pricey. But yeah, the Shaman of the Great Hunt. Yeah, I am happy to open him. I don't know if I'm going to play it, but we got Hungering Yeti. Yeah, I'm hungry. Goblin Boom Keg, Goblin Boom Keg, and a Palace Siege. I guess I skipped something, and the Bloodfell Cave. And I skipped Honor's Reward. Whatever. It don't matter. I'm going to clean all this up anyway. But at least I've got a good pile of rares going, so at least that'll be nice and organized. So, next booster, we got... Oh, that needs to go in my rare pile. Battle Brawler, Healer Rose Blade, Erisham Warbeast, and another Silmgar. And a foil Goblin Heel Cutter. He did the business for me at pre-release. Heel Cutter is really strong. I honestly think... I was watching Wedge's video where he was talking about the various pick colors, and I think red is certainly good enough. I He was down on it, and I think that was unwarranted. Destructor Dragon. Oh, such an awesome art. Jeskai Barricade, Rage Form, and a Shuyun, the Silent Tempest. All right. That's... Uh, it's a nice card. I mean, if you want to have a... Cheap general for EDH, yeah, sure, that's perfectly reasonable. Because he hits the bill. Alright. Reality Shift, Fearsome Awakening, Noctis Dragon, and Shamanic Revelation. A's a good, A's a good, A's up and A's a good. And if you get that joke, you have really bad taste in music. And yes, that means that since I made that joke, I have bad taste in music. 
I'll cop to it. Ugin's Construct, Wild Slash, Sage's Reverie, and a Monastery Siege. So you can draw a card and then discard a card, and you can make yourself harder to target. And a Windswept Heath. All right. Yay! I could use an extra one of those. That's pretty nice. Although, actually, what I'm missing, I need one Wooded Foothills and two Bloodstone Myers. But whatever. Those are hard. The strands is higher value, so I'm sure I can just trade into the ones I want. Neutralizing Blast, Mardu Woe Reaper, Diplomacy of the Wastes, and a Soul Flare. Another guy like this. Anyway. Getting down close to the dregs of the box. Looks like I got six packs after this. But I am working in all haste, because time is money. Sibsig Muck Draggers, Abzan Kingguard, Vault Breaker, and Warden of the First Tree. Yeah, okay, this is a mythic. I wasn't sure, because this is the foil I pulled out of my pre-release pack for Abzan, and I thought it had just like a regular rare stamp, not a mythic stamp. So I was under the delusion that it was just a regular rare, but I stand corrected. Although I opened it, and I opened a Korean one too, but I thought to myself, wait a second. You know, Korean cards ha often have misprints in relation to the English ones. Honor's Roared, Hungering Yeti, Goblin Boomkeg, and Sage Eye Avengers Prowess. And when this attacks, you can bounce a guy to its owner's hand if its power is less than this guy. This is. You, I love repeated bounce. I mean, if you can stick this on the table. This is serious business. Yeah, it is no joke. I think that's quite strong. So yeah, that's pretty cool. have yet to open an Ugin, and that saddens me, but I suppose I shouldn't complain too much. I've got a couple Mythics out of this so far. Winds of Calcisma, Ward Scale Dragon, Humble Defector, and Frontier Siege. Siege. I don't need another siege. Got way too many sieges in this box. I mean, they're fun, fine cards for limited, but I feel they're not my cup of tea in standard and constructed. A little bit of a cascade over here. Mardu Shadow Spear, Carsey High Priest, Southern Reclamation, and Yasova Dragon Claw. She is pretty darn strong. I, I'm actually happy to get her. I think that she will definitely be a card, you know, a couple bucks. And she is a nice little general for people on the budget. It's no anima. Or copy dude, but copy dude's, well, copy dude's pretty cool. Yeah, I just give cards nicknames when I can remember. Misfire Adept, Elite Scale Guard. Dark Deal, and Crux of Fates. Crux of Fates. Man, this card, so good for me at the pre-release. Along with Dash Guys. I mean, that is just two peas in a pod. So I dig that the most. Coming up next, we got Reality Shift. Fearsome Awakening, Noxious Dragon, and... Temer War Shaman. Yeah, it's this guy again. Okay. Last, English Booster. And then I break out three Korean. We got... And then, you, then you'll really hear me start just messing up names. So I don't read Korean. Willow Psy Mystics, Rite of Undoing, Pilgrim of the Fires, and Mardu Strike Leader. When this attacks, put a 2 1 warrior onto the battlefield and it dashes. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's, all, that's okay. And a Timber Room Mark. All right. All in all, didn't get any of the white mythics, didn't get Ugin, so I'm just a touch disappointed. But let's see what this Korean pack offers us. So we got. Merciless Executioner. Ooh, I'm good. 
uh, Red Dragon, something, Sorcery, or I, I don't recall having seen this card. It just doesn't stick in my brain. And it's another Siege. It's Red Siege. And the Green White Life Gain Land. Wah, wah. Come on, guys. I want a new game. Please, please, please. I'm getting desperate here. I had a few good mythics, but... We got 2-1 Soldier Boy. Orc Sure Shot. Uh, this is the enchantment that makes things hard to block. And we got that rushing dragon, the raiding dragon, the dashing dragon, the guy who does things. Yes, the warden of the first leaf I just call Guy. I call him Guy of the adjective noun. I just cannot remember his name for the life of me. We got a uh, guy who goes for artifacts. Cloud form, uh, guy, picky guy, and a Tarka. Wah, wah. All right, so let me pause for a moment and I will get my rares and mythics in order and just talk about the highlights. So see you in a sec. So the recap, here's the stuff I'm happy about. I got four mythics out of the box while none of them were super saucy. I mean, Torn Elemental, Close to bulk. Shaman the Great Hunt, pretty darn awesome. We got Warden of the First Tree. I'm not super pumped about that, but eh, I mean, it's it's a fun card. I might put it in my cube. Uh, Whisperwood Elemental, I feel like this. I mean, six power for five mana and with an ongoing effect. This is worth playing. I'm not sure what deck it goes into, but at least in the board against control decks. I got a Foil Rare, Dragon Scale General. I got a Crux of Fate. I'm a huge fan of this card. I got a Mardu Strike Leader, and that's pretty nice. Flame Rush Rider. I just really like this ability. I don't know if it's going to be good enough for Constructed. I got a Flame Wake Phoenix, and that's cool. I got Yasova Dragon Claw. She does so much in various games, I feel. She's something that you can probably bring in from a board. I got two copies of Tarka, World Render. Two copies of Colgon, Storm Fury. Two copies of Silmgar, The Drifting Death, and The Flood Strand, and Windswept Teeth. And those the highlights. So anyway, guys, that's my box. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my blather. I hope I entertained you. If I did not entertain you, why are you listening to me at this point? If I did entertain you, hit that like. I mean, this is not what I do regularly on my channel. But, I mean, if you want to watch my channel and see all my great history videos, totally get on that. Hit that subscribe. And I will see you guys in a couple days where I am putting out my episode 32, which is the Artifacts of Nerodin. So I hope you guys enjoy that because I have worked a ton. I enjoy writing them. I enjoy shooting them. I'm, I mostly enjoy editing them. I mostly enjoy editing. Editing is, of course, the thing that takes the most time. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Peace out.